Hi, in this video today, I will show you how to create a game track in the Excel file. Okay, so now, let us start this. I will open my Excel file in the Microsoft Excel. Okay, and here, for example, on the top, I have a project information. We have 10 tasks and the duration for each task here. We have, we have started and ended for each task. Okay. And underneath of the task information, we have a track here, which indicates the timeline for my project. Okay. So now, in this video today, I will guide you how to create a track beyond the raw data here. Okay. I have a sheet here, which contain the raw information of my project. Okay. And the duration for this project is 28 days. Okay. And here I will see, open the insert. In the ribbon, I will see like I will navigate to the chart section here. Okay. I select the bar and select the stated bar in the 2D bar. Okay. Yeah, on the bar track is added into my worksheet here. I will right click on this and then select select data. Okay. So here the pop up select data source will be displayed. And you take a look into the legion entry series. Click on the add button here. Okay. Okay. So for the series name, I will add the start date. I select this one and select the start date column. Okay. And click on the roll down button here. This is the series name. And then I have to provide the series values. Select this one. And select the data for the start date from the D5 to D14. Click on the row down button here and then click on OK button to finish selection. Okay. The next step, I will add one more. I will select the duration. Series name, it will be the duration day. And values, it will be the data of the duration from the cell C5 to C14. Okay, and here in the horizontal categories in axis axis label, I will select edit. Okay, so here I will add the task name in the task column. Okay, button. I hit on okay button here. Yeah. So you see in the uh, in the chart in the chart here we have some information of, of the task and then the timeline. Okay. So here I will make the task number one will be back to the top. So I will select the the the, the task name here and then right click on it. I select the option the format axis axis here. Okay. The format axis pop will be display. I you take a look into the axis position. Okay. Select the option the category in reserve order. Reverse order. Okay. Okay. So now the task number one will be back to the top. Okay. And the timeline will be move to the top as well here. Okay. I close this one. Cool. And then I don't want the blue color here in display because it is unnecessary. It seems the redundant data here. We just need to focus on to the orange color here. Okay. So here I will right click on the blue color here. I will select the format data point. Okay. 
So here I will click on in the format data point. I will select the fin and line. Okay. So here in the fin, I will select the no fin option here. Oh, sorry. We need to select all of the data here. Okay. Format it again. No fin. And the border, I will select. I will also select the no line. Okay, close this. Okay, so it looks better. I will change the position of the chart here to bottom of the project information. Okay, so now here I will increase the width of this. Yeah. So hey, as well. Okay. So here, I will select the format cell date. I will select this this one. Or even okay, I will select the first one is the start date, and I select the format cell. Okay. So here, select the general number. We have a sample number here. It will be indicates the number of this format date. Okay. I will write out this number. Let me open the window run and write out this. 4, 3, 9, 5, and 2. Just copy. Okay. Click on, on cancel button here. Yeah. You take a look into the chart here. We have some the blank blank in the etat here. Yeah. So now we should remove the blank here. Okay. You see like the timeline here. And then right click on this and select format axis. Okay. The format axis uh, option here will be display. We have bow and units. For the bars, I will use we you, you should replace the minimum number here by the number you have just write down on the previous. Put it here. Yeah. Okay. And then the blank be before the task will be removed. Yeah. And for major major here, I will keep it by default. Okay. Close this one. Yeah. It looks much better. Save it. Okay. And then in the next step, I will select the select data. No. Okay. So here for I will select the orange color. And I will right click on this one. And I will select the format data series. Yeah. We have a series option. I will have a series series overlap in one hundred percent. Okay, and for gap width, I will decrease this one. I will only only ten percent. Yeah, make it bigger. Okay, and then the next step, I will add some the label for this one. I will I will select the orange color, and right click on it. Select add data label. Yeah. You see here, the label will be display. This label will indicate the duration of the of the task in in my project. Okay. So now here, if I change the date here, for example, it is two or four, it will automatically in increase the label here and also the color here for me yeah it is automatically increase not do it by manually okay the same thing for other one it should be three and then it is three for the last item yeah increases very good okay 
And the last step, I will do the format to make this color look better. Select this one, and right click on it, and select the format data series. Okay, you change it to the option the effect. Yeah. So here in effect, I have a three three D format. I can select the option here. Select any option. It is angle. Okay. It look better, right? Yeah. You can also change it to another format. Let me change it. One more time to change it. Okay. It look much better. We can do some the formats for this one if you need format data train area no fin yeah something like this solid guardian picture button or automatic yeah it is it, it, depending on the purpose but uh, no lie okay so we can do some format here to make it big bow and make it bow again cool save it up okay so here summary for this tutorial today today i have the project information on the top which contains some the raw data for my project the estimation for it that here it have the started and ended and then we do calculate the duration for it okay and we after that when we have the full raw data for my project i can create a bar chart here in this video i use the stacked bar chart for the timeline yeah and the timeline here is by on the duration start date and the start name okay by, by on that we can by on the duration and start date we can automatically can create and this for it that yeah so here we have one, it will be two. Yeah, increase as, as well. Okay. And I hope this video will have fun for you. After you finish this video, you know how to create a gun chart or project timeline based on the raw data of the project estimation. Okay. Bye bye. If you think this video is helpful, let me know and don't don't forget to subscribe, like and share my video. Okay, thank you. See you, see you guys later in other video.